Uh, Kimani Mbugwa standing by in Pumwani with the Kamkunji MP Yusuf Hassan to let us know how they are receiving that news. Kimani. Uh, good morning, Vicky. We just happened to bump into Yusuf Hassan, who is the MP of this area, Kamkunji. Of course, we've been talking about the, uh, the reinforcement of Michuki Rose. We just want to hear what is inside, what does he think about road candidates in Kenya. He's just stopped his car by the roadside. Let's go and talk to him. He's over here. Real quick. Hello, sir. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, thank you for stopping by to speak with us. Uh -huh. yes. This morning we've been talking about road carnage in Kenya, and yesterday, uh, CS Fred Matiangi uh, released a notice um, that is going to, that, that's um, asking or directing Matatu operators to comply with the Michuki rules that were enforced, uh, that came into effect in 2003. Now they want to be affected. There's been a bit of laxity. Do you think um, that? bringing back these rules is going to um, you know, reduce road carnage? Absolutely. I think that there has been uh, laxity. I think the, the government had dropped the ball. And I welcome uh, uh, CS Matiangi and CS Macharia's uh, directive uh, to strictly uh, enforce uh, the laws, rules and regulations. People ask me as a parliamentarian, why don't you pass a law uh, to enforce uh, traffic re regulations in the use but the, the laws are there the laws are there the rules and regulations are there what is been lacking is the enforcement the strict enforcement of those laws mm -hmm. therefore I welcome that very much the second element that we need to deal with in particular here in Nairobi is the um, is the chronic congestion traffic congestion uh, this city is not moving this city is suffering and therefore there is a serious need to decongest and to take action uh, against uh, uh, congestion in our cities. And what are some of the things do you think? What do you think the government, uh, the the Sonko administration, can do to reduce congestion and traffic within this within the city, the CBD, and also outskirts um, the current situation that we have? What do you think should be done to reduce that? Well, the first and immediate uh, one is, of course, uh, strictly enforcing the rules to make sure that uh, matatus do not uh, abuse uh, the the usage of the road. Uh, they don't block traffic. Uh, they don't. Um, um, do the things they do now that uh, causes a lot of problems. But second element is, of course, we need more uh, traffic marshals. Like this street, uh, General Warwingi, is permanently congested day and night. It doesn't matter whether you're here at midnight or very early in the morning. This road is constantly, and this is costing us. It has a social cost, it has an economic cost, it has got a health cost, and we lose millions and millions of shillings every day because of this congestion but at the end of the day Nairobi needs a public uh, transport uh, you know we don't have a public this is a major city with a, a massive population uh, we simply don't have the right uh, uh, public transport system to be able to move populations up and down and therefore we need to invest in rail services we need to invest in uh, better and bigger buses do you think BRT is the way to go? Well, it is a, it's a beginning. It's not, uh, it's not going to resolve all our problems because the more a city grows, the more you would need more vehicles on the road. So I think we need to look at more permanent public transport like maybe a rail service or an underground service or an overground service like other, uh, other cities in the world. Uh, lastly, I'm going to ask you this question. There's been an issue about matatus, uh, this pimped matatus, and the Michuki rules state that every matatu should have a, a yellow line. Uh, do you think um, some of the matatus should be allowed to, you know, have this graffiti? And uh, you know, should there be an exception for some matatus? Because as we see, some of them are complying; they have a yellow line. Others are not. Uh, what do you think should be done? I think I'm not a, uh, I, I'm not a big uh, fan of um, of of um uh, removing or banning uh, graffiti. Graffiti is part of our culture, it's part of our uh, image of our city. The problem is not graffiti. The problem is the conduct of the driver and the conductors, the behavior and the attitude of the matatus. That is what we need to change. We need to change the psychological mindset uh, of, the, of the matatu um, uh, drivers and the matatu conductors so that they follow the rules, they have a, they have a vehicle that is road um, worthy, that is clean, and that follows uh, the laws, the rules and regulations uh, uh, that have been laid down. Okay. 
Mm. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you go because we don't have a lot of time. But thank you for speaking to us. Uh, I just parked on the roadside to speak to us, which was uh, fantastic. This is Pumari. Thank you so much, uh, Yusuf Hassan, the MP for Kamkunji, for speaking to us.